Hi guys! <laughs> right, <clears throat> hello. Um, a phrase came to my mind yesterday. Seven different words, nine words in total. I honestly feel like this is the culmination of my meditation work over the last five years has come to this. And it is this. We were made of love by love, to love. That's it. Now, to anyone who's begun to access their heart, their true self, their soul, would find this extremely helpful as a mantra and to think about it and work it out. And to someone who has distanced themselves from their soul quite far will probably read this as being in the past tense and therefore could um, help them unblock some of their emotion and perhaps they could connect to the heart. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'll just jot those down again. We were made, because we were made, of love by love to love now this video isn't about that this video is about what's what's happening with love now you know a lot of people have got a very narrow view of what love is you know, between a man and a woman. I mean, even if you were just to read this on the physical, you know, it's 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 even still fits. Um, but obviously, love is so much more broader than that. And you know, in our ongoing lives, billions of years, we're going to be finding so much more about this love. But let's let's take an essential thing that um, love likes to grow. It's a, it's like a, a you know a natural state of love is it, it, the love is growing. Now here on Earth, we create love in relationships. That's kind of the only way that love can be created. So love grows. Now, if there's negative stuff in the relationship, then the love could be stagnant or it could even shrink. Now, love can't actually shrink because... Um, uh, love is permanent, love is eternal. So, it would just be um, the person in who's in connection with their soul um, disconnects from, from it. So the love doesn't actually shrink, but what does maybe gets created is the hate thing, right? So maybe this is... Where this is the, sorry. So, better to explain it like... If the relationship is negative, then the love love is stagnant. It doesn't grow. That doesn't feel good, and and there is then this sort of hate, and and as someone put it, I heard them say that um, all the bad things they did. Led, led to pain. Pain later on in their life, they kind of had to go through that pain. So there's this sort of, yeah, so there's this issue. So <clears throat> I 
when we when we when we look at the the, the world, right? So that's the planet today, the 21st of May, 2019. And if we just take a, a section of the planet there and just focus in on that bit there, you know, and say that's some place in the middle of England, you know, right? So did love shrink by creating hate? Or did it grow? Now, the thing is, we've got a lot of shrinking love because when a child is born, born, the child is loving, like totally loving. It does the, it, it does the, you see, we made to love, right? We made of love, by love, to love. That that's our soul. Our soul is a loving thing, and it likes being loving. It likes it when love is growing, and a child is born. This child is at one with his heart or her heart. It just you know, it's feeling all the time. Um, never going into its head. It's feeling all the time that the, the, the waves coming to the child. And so if, if this is the child's body or anybody's body and, you know, here's arrows of um, projection from, from something, you know, and, and if it's negative, you know, the child, the, the baby will feel it. The baby will process that. And it might not understand it, and that's why it cries, right? <coughs> so, you know, any time, every time a child is born, we got shrinking going on. All throughout their life, probably into their 30s. Now, it gradually, it shrinks more in the early days, you know, you see a child go through the terrible twos and stuff like that. They come out the other end. They're not, they're not as in tune as they were. With their, their all loving part of themselves, and but this is enables them in a sense to function in society because, once you've shrunk, once you've come away from your soul. Um, being around. Being around people who are more loving than you is actually can actually hurt. It actually hurts you to witness someone more loving. Because it makes you realise, it makes you remember that, you know, because, you know, we can con ourselves in our head, our minds and everything. We're all, we're all geared to do this. We're all taught to do this, to con ourselves, think, you know, no, this is the way it's supposed to be. I mean, it's not. So there's a lot of love shrinking going on. Now, people, when they get to about their 40s, 45, you know, a lot of people start to to turn it round, start to go the other way, but very gradual. Um, in, unless you've engaged with this meditation and truth. Um, so gradually, love will grow a bit more. And, you know, people fall in love all the time, and then love grows, but quite often... A few years later, whether they admit it or not, they fall out of love, which again does the shrinking. So, you know, we're here in this special time. And for the last several thousand years, we've been doing more shrinking than growing. And, it, and it's to show us, you know, the results, you know, so we can say without doubt, yeah, it's better if we don't have wars, it's better if we don't lie and be deceitful, etc. So we're here in this, it's like, you know, if you like, it's, it's, it's something that um, our creator, our mother and father, had been through before, something that they knew we were going to be going through this, you know, it's going to affect everybody, 
everything that exists is going to be affected by this little awakening stage, these birth pangs of us um, coming in to be able to be capable to know what we are. You know, we've been well geared up for this. We've had millions of lives as animals and everything, progressing all the time to more and more complicated beings. Whereas at last we're in a being that's capable of knowing truly what it is. So that you can have a free will decision. Because we all have this, we all have this responsibility. Our, you know, we are all part of the one love. So we've all got this responsibility to 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 learn about it to show endurance and and to to prove it that that you know we want existence don't we um so that's what the that's where we are that's where we that is the reality of what's going on and so if we can change, we start to learn from the babies about what they're doing and they're feeling emotion and we do it ourselves and we start teaching children the right things and not the wrong things. And when we start doing that, man, man, love is going to grow and it's going to be amazing. I mean, I'm still amazed that just, you know, in a sense, because I had, lately, I I think I'd let my heart grow a bit cold. I was feeling like I was beginning to get a bit cold, and that's when I concentrated on it more. It just amazed me that just by saying the word love, you know, it gives me a great feeling inside. And um, I'm amazingly grateful for that. I suppose it is because, you know, partly I've realised, you know, what the one love is and everything, and... See, everything in this world is made of love, but it's, it's our mother and father's love, God's love. Every atom is God's love. It was all on loan to us while we're learning, because <laughs> we've got our own universes. Okay, I think that was it. So in this highly uncomfortable position, ciao. <laughs>